Wait, a, a random guy just invited me to a lobby. Nemesis LE. Does he want to play 1v1? It's just a complete random person that invited me. I have no idea what's happening. Let's, I just wanted to record this. Whatever is happening is gonna happen. This guy looks like his masters. I, I I do get invited to random lobbies, to random parties and so on. And from time to time, I just join to, to, to see what's, what, what's, what's happening. You know, like, what, what do they want? It's just a complete stranger here. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Do we crush him? What is this map even? Nemesis LE? I, I don't think I've uh, seen this map before. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, little does he know that he's going to be part of the YouTube. <laughs> this is such a such a such a strange moment for me because I did get invited lots of the time to to parties to play like two v twos to some uh, you know custom games and so on. And a lot of people ask me for a 1v1, I, you know, most of the time I do not respond, I just get asked way too much, I don't have time for this. But I, I'm in a good mood today, and I just wanted to see what's gonna happen here. But it is a PvP, right? It is a PvP. I wonder, uh, I wonder if he's gonna be cheesing me, what is his strategy? He woke up in the morning today, he's like, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna invite to a pro gamer on Nemesis LE. And I'm sure he will accept and we'll play a game. But you know what? He actually got it. Wait. Why cannot uh, not keep my gateways? Okay. Um, if you don't try, you will not get a game like this. <laughs> I don't blame him. Okay, double gateway. Uh, we got a pylon here. Looks very, very standard so far. Okay, pylon the logo. Looks like no, not a proxy. So is, he, is this going to be just a normal straight up macro game? Or does he have a, some kind of evil plan? Because he's banking up some chronobus, he's not using it on the probes. So this could be just a fake out pylon. Uh, sh should we talk to him? Should we talk to the guy? Ask him? Why did, why did you invite me? Wait. Let's, let's, just, uh, <laughs> let's just have a conversation with this guy in the middle of the game. <laughs> For 1v1. Right. M right. <laughs> right. <laughs> this guy knows what he wants, you know? <laughs> I thought he was inviting me for a dinner. Okay. Double stalker. Okay. What? Uh, can I not lose this probe? That would be nice. Let's get a uh, sentry. Please, please, please. Run, 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 run. Okay. He's not very talkative. Usually the guys that, uh, that I accept are very, very talkative, but looks like this guy is super focused. He's doing pretty good so far. Like, his build is looking absolutely normal. If I would be playing versus Showtime, Max Max or whatever, uh, I would not tell the difference so far, other than the second pylon being on the low ground, which uh, is the biggest difference so far. Okay. I'm a bit afraid of uh, being like old end or something here. Not gonna lie, I'll play somewhat defensively. I'll see with the sentry what we can find with the hallucination. Now next up we want to definitely saturate the natural, but I don't want to spend my chrono boost now on uh, on probes, even though I could, because I just want to save it in case I need it for you know gateways or, or warp gates or whatever. Now we can use the hallucination. Let's uh, chrono boost the, the sentries now, so I'm gonna have total of three. Now we can get a twilight council. Okay, what do we what do we see with the with the phoenix here? Is he attacking me or or not? I have a very good defense. Okay, he has an expansion already done. Okay, this looks absolutely standard. I love it. Let's get a fortune. Let's get a fortune with plus one. Uh, I would like to confirm what tech building he has. It's probably gonna be a twilight castle, but I'll just warp in my stalkers in my main base just in case. Forge and twilight. Okay, he's playing extra greedy. I could just straight up kill him right now with the amount of units I have. But let's play his game. Let him be greedy. Let's start blink of my own. Let's get this base. Uh, I like the way he's playing so far. Let's uh, scout around the Phoenix because this also could be a fake. He could also be making Dark Shrine behind this. You know, making the Twilight Council and the Forge doesn't necessarily indicate that you are researching this. He could be, you know, researching blink or charge or whatever. But in the meantime, he could be making a proxy Dark Shrine. I would really not be surprised with that. <laughs> See? I told you! I told you, man! The freaking triple force field! 
I told you. <laughs> this guy, man. I love it. I love it. I told you he had a plan. There's no way. Wait, is he cheating? How does he have so much money? He's playing on a mod. I think this. he's playing on a mod, no? There's no way he has this much money for a third base and so many stalkers. He must be cheating, no? Or is this... I didn't pay attention if, if, if this is played on a mod or not. I'm not sure. There's no way he has this much money for all of this. Does he? Maybe he has not enough units. I'm not sure. But I, I will have to probably check the replay. I, I'm very worried now. No, he's, che he's cheating us, F. He's cheating. <laughs> okay. He has like a middle hack or something for him. I'm not sure if we... We, we definitely cannot win this game. <laughs> okay. But uh, what... what Like, I don't know how much money he has. Okay. He's blinking. He's 100% cheating now. But we don't know exactly how big of a cheat this is. This is some kind of like a mineral hack. Or maybe he he's, he just gets maybe more uh, income per probe trip. I think that's uh, that's mostly it, I think. That's, that's how it is. Okay. We need to keep upgrading. I mean, if we win this game, this is going to be, going to be magnificent. We can... I mean, I'm not sure if we can win. But I'm going to try, of course. Okay, how many stalkers do we have here? Four. Is he being aggressive? Hey, yeah, look at this. He has a free base saturation, gas and everything. <laughs> okay. I, I think he's just getting more middle, more middle support. Too. I wonder if he has a map hack as well. I don't think he might have... I don't think he has a map hack. He could have it. But I don't think he does. I mean, but the, the fact that he just straight up attacked me. The moment I move, I move that, he might have a map hack as well. Uh, let's get more gateways. Uh, I'm getting kind of supply, but I'm not sure if I can even beat him with, with straight up gateway units. Might be a mistake because I might need uh, stronger units to deal with what he has. I'm very glad that he didn't go Dark Tempest because I actually have zero detection other than the cannon in my base. Okay, let's just warp in lots of uh, stalkers. Get rid of these upgrades. Now let's get a second forge as well. I have to be, be somewhat greedy, so he should probably have a fourth base already saturated, I would say, or at least started, if he wants to play macro. Okay, wait, he's, he's probably moving out for a timing attack. I don't see a fourth base. You now he has so many stalkers. <laughs> he has like twice as many stalkers as me, and he has three upgrades as well at home. Okay, I mean, if you win this game, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> what a tricky guy. I wonder if he's like, oh, I'm tricking him. He doesn't know. <laughs> I'm so much better than you. I realize he's he's cheating like so quickly. Okay, let's get some immortals. Since he has a lot of stalkers. <laughs> I did not expect this kind of game. But I love it. I love it. This is a good challenge for me. Unintentional completely. But I'm having fun so far. Do I need more sentries? He has okay, he has a fourth base at about the same time as me. I'd like to see if he's getting more stalkers or yeah, just stalkers. Cannons, okay. Maybe with Immortals we can make it work. Despite him cheating, we might be able to get a good fight. Because of the unit composition and just the unit quality that I will have. If he just stays on pure stalkers, even despite superior upgrades, he's not going to win the fight unless he micros properly his stalkers versus the, the Immortals. So I'm going to get a lot of sentries to use uh, force fields and batteries. Uh, sorry, force fields and, and gardener shield to get uh, a, a kind of advantage over him. He's getting kind of passive here. He's not attacking me. I think he definitely could be used. Uh, could be more uh, more aggressive here. I want, maybe, maybe he has a hidden expansion in the top right as well. But I think the longer the game goes, the better I will be, right? Since I'm a better player, so maybe he will not be good enough at uh, using the cheats that he is using. Let's get a disruptor. So maybe we'll get like sick disruptor shots. If he doesn't have Archons, the sentries are going to be so good for me. But if he does have Archons, it's going to be very, very problematic. Oh, he's moving out. He has 2-1-1. One, one. No fourth base here. Sorry. No. Wait, that's a lot of zealots. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This army, man. That's fine. That's fine. So many gateways. Okay, double robo. So many gateways. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. 
Look at this army, man. 2-1-2. Two, two. I, I think we can beat this army. Come on, fight here. Come on, fight me, bro. Yes, fight me. Fight me, bro. He's blinking back so I can trap some of his stalkers. Actually, let's just send the immortals first. Okay, we have the... Ah, okay. Oh, that's so many! <laughs> There's two to two upgrades. Okay, he kills this. Okay, we cannot actually take the fight. Despite my army being, I think, very good against his, it was just not a good position for me to fight in. Now, uh, I think I'll stop at 66 probes, actually, in order to get a larger army than my opponent has. So, if I would be making more probes, we'll probably fight at an equal army supply. But he has the superior upgrade, right? He's upgrading with triple forge. But now with the disruptors, and as I maxed out, I should have a stronger army than him. But at least I will have like one good army. Now we should probably do some counter attack here on the fourth base of his. The one thing about you know people playing like, playing like this, oh, 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 Colossus and Archons. He, he has like a production speed cheat as well. How does he have so much all of a sudden? We just spotted him building the robotics facilities, and I had them faster than him. But let, let's see. He's probably like warping them in or something. I think he's warping them in. Okay, let's go. The disruptors didn't find much of damage here. Okay, go, go, go. Kill the warpism. Kill the Colossus. Wait, pull this. Kill the Colossus. I don't think we can win. He has too many zealous. I think he's actually warping in his... Uh, his Immortals and, Ar and, and Colossus, I think. That's my wild guess. That was a terrible fight for me. Okay, go here. I want to see in the replay. Okay, can I reproduce this army? He can reproduce his very, very easily. He has 2 2 free. I have 1 0 free. Okay. We have 4 disruptors. That's the only chance that I can win this game is using disruptors. Because he's not gonna be microing his army properly. That's absolutely for certain. But we need to rebuild the army. We don't have 200 supply anymore. We barely have any economy and he can just come up with the another same, uh, same kind of quality of army in just a moment as well. And let's try this. Uh, I, I still have good upgrade. Like 2 one free is very good for me. But I'm, I'm just... Uh, my economy is trash right now. We can no longer rely on only 66 probes. We have to rely on disruptors, okay? Now we need to keep on seeing what he's, uh, what he's, uh, what direction he's going to be attacking me from. I can use disruptors here to kill the zealots, that's for sure. Now the question is, I don't know if he has a map hack. If I knew exactly that he has a map hack, I would not be, you know, protecting myself only with disruptors here because it's uh, it's dangerous. I wonder if he's switching up to air. If he switches up to air, I think I'm just straight up dead. I cannot win the game uh, against air toss because disruptors will are my only chance versus ground toss. But he might not be able to... I mean, he is probably able to switch. Since I only saw Zealous here, I think it's very, very likely he's switching up to air. Okay, I have eight Disruptors. Let's let's try to find... Oh, he has Disruptors as well. Okay. I can win in the Disruptor fight. That gives me an idea that he has uh, actually map hacking because... Well, he didn't see me move out of these Stalkers. Okay, he's probably waiting for a counter-attack with the Zealots. Uh, let's get a Zealot here. Uh, sorry, a Gateway to block this. We can only out micro this guy. There's no other chance. A free, uh, free observer. Okay, look at yeah. He's counter attacking immediately. Unless he has an observer here. This is also a map hack. Okay, he's trying to get the, get the nexus. That's why that's not gonna work. I can defend myself here. Quickly enough. I don't think he has an observer here. We just spotted that. Okay, he doesn't get the nexus. He doesn't get the nexus. Okay, that's good. Go, oh, please. 30 HP, man. That was so close. Let's hold it off. Look at this. Okay. Send the zealot. I don't have charge. Okay. I mean, I still am very, very afraid of uh, Skytos. Skytos army. It's the only thing I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of Grand Army anymore because I have so many disruptors. Eight of them. I think the only way he can beat me is with like carriers. 
I, I'm, I'm confident I can out micro his army. Oh, that's a mass amount of DTs. <laughs> oh, there's a turn. He also has like over 100, over 200 supply, I think. <laughs> he has like over 200 supply. <laughs> can I save this? Okay. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> he has like all the all the things necessary. Middle hack, map hack, more supply. I think he's also warping in his uh, tech units. I want to confirm that. I'm not certain about that, but I'm certain about him being uh, ahead of 200 supply. <laughs> okay, let's go. How can we? I mean, can we fight the the carriers? No, no. There's too many of them. There's too many of them. I would be able to blink on top of them if there were no disruptors. But he has so much here. Okay, let's use the observer vision here. <laughs> oh, he's they're attacking me with like 50 million DTs right here as well. Okay, I'm gonna GG out and I'm gonna guess how many how much supply he actually does. Have. Oh, big shots! Actually, wait, wait, wait. I have three more. No, there's no way we can we can win this. Blink forward. No, never mind. Okay, I think he's at 250 supply. I'm gonna take a wild guess. GG. Ah! Wait, well, actually, he has infinite money. He actually has infinite money and 236 supply. <laughs> but actually, I was right because before I sniped the, the carries, I think he was at 250 supply. Look at this. Exactly 250. Well, I'm not exact. 248. 240. My game sense, man. My game sense. <laughs> So he had all the cheese available, infinite money, over 200 supply, and we still made it somewhat competitive. How, how early did he have infinite money, though? Immediately. He immediately had it. <laughs> so he started the game with infinite supply and infinite money. So he didn't want to show it to, to me, right? So he didn't start making like million gateways immediately, which is a good thing. But I realized that something is up. The moment I saw, you know, the additional forges, the Twilight Council, like, something clicked to me. That his fourth and Twilight Council was too early, but I was like, okay, he's just playing greedy, he's not gonna have that many stalkers. But then I see Double Forge researching the, the upgrades and the gateway and so on, I immediately knew something was up. <laughs> that was a cool game, thank you for challenging me. And I'm actually glad that I recorded that, that, that was something unexpected. I, I wish I had a chance of winning this game though. <laughs> GG. Uh, he says, sorry bro, the map was edited. <laughs> oh shit. I knew all along af after I scouted you so early. GG. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next episode of whatever I upload. The cheater was actually stronger than me. <laughs> GG.